Spoon. Napkin. Now you do it. For this next activity, it would be good if you used real things like this. If you used a real bowl, or if you used real spoons, or real napkins, that would be the best way to play this next activity. If you don't have these things, you could use pictures of these things. And if you don't have pictures, you could simply write the names on small pieces of paper to play this game. But what I'm going to suggest is that you play the same kind of game that the teacher did in the class. If everyone has this, and you could do this in small groups around a table, you could have someone call out the name of something and everyone must hold it up. For example, if someone calls out a fork, you must hold up your fork. If they call out a spoon, you must hold up your spoon. Or a glass, or a cup. So you can play that game, have someone call something out, and then hold it up. See who can be the first. When you have finished playing that game for a while, we can play the other game they played on the video. If everyone at your table has a complete set, a placemat, napkin, spoon, knife, bowl, plate, a fork, a glass, then have everyone close their eyes and have one person change them all, mix them up between the people at the table like the teacher did. So then when everyone opens their eyes, they must look around and they would have to say, please pass a bowl, please pass the knife. And then the first person who gets the whole set complete again would be the winner. All right, are you ready? Let's begin. Please stop the video and do the activity. Okay, very good. Now we set the table, we pass things. Now I want to serve you. I want to serve some food. Serve. Mm. So I say, are you hungry? Yes. Say yes. Okay. I have a, a spoon. And this is a serving spoon. So I take the food and I serve you. I give you some food. Okay. You serve food to each person. Now, let's say the food is here and it's very hot. It's so hot, you can't pass it. Because if you touch it, oh, it's too hot. So maybe Carrie Lynn, she'll say, Plodoso, there's some soup. Do you want some soup? No. Do you want some soup? OK. Can you pass your bowl to Carrie Lynn? <laughs> yeah? OK. She will serve you. She'll give you some. She'll serve you. Bladoso, you don't want soup? Don't want okay. <laughs> Can you pass your bowl to Carrie Lynn? And she will serve you. Good. Okay, then you serve yourself. You can serve yourself and serve Pasta Blut, right? Some for you, some for her. There, that's very nice. Okay, so don't look. What was the? F don't look. <laughs> what was the first thing we did? Mm. Pull. 
What did we do? We put down eight things on the table. Mm. We mm, the table. Yes. We set. Good. We set the table. Then we. We passed. We passed. And the third one is we serve. we serve serve food at the table. Look at number four. Pour. Pour. We pour. No, we don't have any water here. Do we have any milk? Juice? No. Let's get some water. Ah, uh, Ninslin, do you want milk or water? Oh. Can you get that? Can you reach that? No. Do you want someone to pass it to you? Ooh, you want to drink it? Yeah. Okay. So, who is going to pour it for you? Okay. So you say, Carolyn, please pour some water. Okay. Please pour me some water. There's your pouring. Good. Oh, just a little for you. <laughs> All right. But also, do you want milk or water? Okay. Pour yourself some water. <laughs> you can pour or pour some milk. Okay. Good. <laughs> just a little. All right, Carrie Lynn, milk or water? Water. All right. <laughs> Pour yourself some water. And pass a blue, milk or water? Pour. Okay, so you can help yourself to some water. That's pouring. Can pour any liquid. What else? You have milk, water, you can drink juice, and what else? Do you like Coke? Seven up. Okay, that's what you pour. You can pour milk and water. The last one, when you're finished, you can just stand up and leave, but you like to clean up. Yeah. And that's, we call that clear. You clear the table. That's take, you take everything away. If you set the table, you put things on the table. Clear the table take everything away. Now before you leave, it's nice to say thank you, thank you, and excuse me because you're leaving. So excuse me from the table, thank you. Okay, excuse me and thank you. So, are you ready to leave the table, Plodoso? Yeah, okay, so you need to do two things. You two clear the table and you say thank you or excuse me okay so can you clear clear your table take all eight things away yeah and you can put it on the table over here and this is how we clear clear the table we take everything off good and you stick it over there now today we did not eat. We did not eat food. But if we did eat food, our dishes would be dirty. Yeah, yeah they'd be very dirty. <laughs> then we need to do two things. We take it to the sink. And what is this called when we... Spoon. We clean them or we say we... We wash. we wash. We wash the dishes. Okay. Thank you. We wash the dishes. And after... What's this called? <laughs> it's not wet. It's... Hmm. We wash the dishes and we dry the dishes. Wash the dishes, dry the dishes. You've seen what they did in class. After they had set the table, and after they passed things back and forth, then they would start to serve food.
food. To serve food is to give it to someone, put it on their plate or put it in their bowl so they can eat it. That's serve food. And then they would pour a drink. They would pour water or milk or you can pour juice or tea or coffee and that's how you serve someone a drink. You pour it for them. When they were finished eating, they would clear the table. They would take everything away, put it away, or the dishes that were dirty. They would then wash the dishes and they would dry the dishes. Then they would be finished. So I'm going to ask you to do this activity as well. If you still have these things, from your last activity, you may pretend to serve each other food and then you could pretend to pour each other a drink. When you are finished, you could clear the table, take everything away, and then you could wash the dishes and dry the dishes. And then you will be done. All right, are you ready? Let's begin. Please stop the video and do the activity. So, we did five things at the table. What was the first one? First thing is we set the table. Okay, we set the table, then we we pass things around the table. What's number three? Serve. Serve. Yeah, we serve food at the table. Clear. Pour. Good, Nancy. And then we pour something to drink. Yeah. And then you said, Pastor Blue, clear. we clear the table. And when we clear the table, you say, Excuse me, thank you. When the meal is finished, then we we wash the dishes and we we dry the dishes. Very good. Okay. Oh, and one last thing. What are the names? We had salt and pepper. Pepper. Okay. And before you go, tell me the names. What is this? Plate. Plate. Bowl. Bowl. Okay. We're setting your table. Fork. 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 Na napkin. Good, but also napkin. On the other side, you have spoon, spoon. Knife. knife, glass, glass or water in the glass, glass or in the cup. And this one. Placemat. Okay. Very good. So this time we sat at the table. Next time we will go to a restaurant and eat at the table. All right? Okay, we'll see you next time. Well, let's wrap up. What did we learn today? Well, we learned that in the kitchen you do a lot more than just cook and eat. There are many other things that you do. We learned that you must set the table. Then you must pass things. And then we would serve food and pour a drink. Then we would clear the table and then we would wash the dishes and clean up. Well, that's a lot of things to do. Food is important in every culture and I'm sure you do these things in your kitchen every day. So I hope that you have enjoyed this lesson where we have been talking about food and what we do in the kitchen. Now all of this talk about food and drink has made me thirsty. I think I'm going to go have a cup of tea. I'm Doug Sadler. This has been English Without Limits. Have a good day.